In this video, I'll show you how to turn this wood into a beautiful item that you'll surely love. Hello, I'm Allison. Welcome to another video from the Wood Art Channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you're new here so you don't miss out on future videos. The wood I'll be using for this project is a pine board measuring 2 meters and 70 centimeters in length by 25 centimeters in width. Here on the miter saw, I'll start by cutting two pieces with 90 centimeters in length each. I'll then cut two more pieces with 45 centimeters. Here, I'll trim all of them on one side, removing just a few millimeters to clean them up and make them perfectly straight. I've set the ruler at 15 centimeters from the blade and I'll cut them all to this measurement. The two pieces measuring 45 centimeters in length that are left I'll cut into 7 cm widths each. Here are all the parts of the project. I'll save these leftover pieces for future projects. Now, I have an important message for those of you who want to do great woodworking projects. In the description of this video, I've left links to equipment and materials that will help you. Check them out. In the next step, I'll plane all the pieces to the same thickness. Now, I'll fill in some gaps with this wood filler in the color brown. Once the filler is dry, I'll sand it using a 150 grit sandpaper. Next, I'll make some markings, starting with this piece measuring 45 by 15 centimeters. I've already set the combination square to 8 centimeters, and I'll mark on both ends, like this, and like this. Using the square, I'll draw a line from end to end. Now, I'll use this other piece and align it with the marking that was made. I'll also draw a line on the other side. I'll repeat the same on the other side. This will be repeated with this piece as well. Now, I've changed it to 7.5 centimeters, which is half of their width, and I'll mark like this in the opposite direction of the previous markings. On all of them. This point will be cut on the table saw Next, I'll mark the parts measuring 90 by 15 centimeters. I've positioned it at the 16 centimeter mark, and I'll also mark on both ends. 
Here, I'll draw a line using the square. I'll mark it the same way as before. I've set it again at 7.5 centimeters and will mark in the opposite direction. The same marking will be repeated on the other part measuring 90 centimeters by 15. These points will be cleaned up using a half-inch chisel. In the next step, I'll make markings on the two parts measuring 45 by 7 centimeters. I've set it at 4 centimeters and will mark on both ends. On all of them. I've changed it to 2.5 centimeters and will mark in the opposite direction. You can see the markings are more toward one side. Here, I'll drill using the hand drill and this 3.5 millimeter drill bit. The countersink part is 10 millimeters. Now, I'll start assembling the item. I'll place these two pieces like this. I'll apply wood glue here and use this brush to spread it. The glue will be applied on both sides. I'll align these two and also apply the glue in the same way. I'll place the larger ones like this and the others will be fitted here. I applied a bit of glue here where one of these pieces, measuring 45 centimeters by 7, will be fixed. Making sure the countersink is facing downwards. Aligning the parts by this end and the side. The fixation will be done with this headless nail, measuring 32 millimeters in length. I used ivory colored wood putty to fill any remaining gaps. With an 80 grit sandpaper, I'll remove any remaining differences. Next, I'll break all the edges of the item except for the part facing downwards. This will be done using the router with this 28mm rounding bit. Following that, I'll do manual sanding using a 220 grit sandpaper. If you've made it this far in the video and are enjoying it, help spread this content to more people by sharing with friends. That way, you'll be helping me bring more content like this to this channel. Well, it's time to do the final finishing. For this, I'll apply wood sealer diluted with thinner. To add color to the item, I'll apply this special iPass colored dye. The application will be done using this spray gun, as is customary here on the channel.
Well folks, here's the finished work. The item I made today is a small suspended multi-purpose shelf measuring 95 centimeters by 45. I hope you like the work I did today. I count on your like and sharing with friends. Leave your comment letting me know what you think of this project. Your opinion is very important, and it will be a pleasure to respond to you. Thanks for watching, and until the next video. You're with my